So they're billing it as he was guilty, sentenced to 10 years in prison. That must mean he did it. Let me ask you this. When the ATF, we know they are the dirtiest of dirty when it comes to the federal law enforcement agencies. Get involved in a case. The prosecution now has a 98% conviction rate. How do you expect anyone to get a fair trial in that kind of environment? I'll read the story, yes. But there is an interesting thing that I found in it that they had to put in there. And you're probably w wondering what I'm talking about. Because the last few days, I've been seeing these stories, and if you really look at them, you can see right past what the reporter is trying to tell you. And then you go and get the DA's press release, and it's the same thing. So you see past what they're trying to do with mimicking what the attorney's office said, the U.S. attorney's. So that example I just gave you, well, if they were found guilty, they must be guilty. You're not looking at the whole picture. When something goes down with the feds, it is almost near to impossible to beat any charges when they're involved. They got millions of dollars to spend. Oh, they just gave Twitter $3.5 million for helping them out spy on us. So you do not think that they're going to spend whatever they need to spend to get another notch in their belt? And it was funny, this article right here, and I want to show you this, show you this. This was a out of KRDO, high-ranking member of Motorcycle Club, Colorado Springs resident, sentenced to 10 years. Here is the official release. From the attorneys, uh, what is it, uh, the Department of Justice. High-ranking member of the Sons of Silence Motorcycle Club sentenced to 10 years in prison. All they did was take that statement, put it in here with some of uh, their reporting. So when you think there's a conspiracy theory going on when I talk about it, no, it's right there. It's right there. Colorado Springs man who is a high-ranking member of the Sons of Silence Motorcycle Club has been sentenced to 10 years in prison for drugs and weapons violation. Now, according to the DA's office, which you just seen that right there, I showed you that one, Henry was arrested in June of 21 as part of surveillance operation being conducted by the Colorado Springs Department on uh, a home that was suspected to be involved in narcotics. Uh, the DA's office said the detectives were aware of his status in this club. Later that day, they pulled him over after he was seen at that home under surveillance. During the search, detectives discovered three firearms, two digital scales, 228 grams of meth, according to the DA. What they didn't tell you in that newspaper article was the stuff that they found was in the passenger seat, so we don't know if there was somebody else involved. It might not have been him. It might have, it's that deal where even if you're driving and you get pulled over and there's open containers and it, it could have been somebody else's. It could have been in a bag that was forgot, and he didn't know about it. But here's something else that the paper didn't mention. The defendant was instructed to exit the vehicle, and he complied. Didn't give him no problems whatsoever. None. One detective walked towards the driver's door, comma, which was open. It was left open. Did you see that? 
One detective walked towards the driver's door, which was left open, and observed two firearms in the driver's door pocket. At that point, I don't think there was a, uh, a warrant, or I don't think he gave any permission to look into the vehicle. So they had to put, it was left open. And then he, the cops seen it. Now, they go through what was found in there and stuff like that. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Detectives also located a total of two, two, uh, uh, what is it, 228 uh, grams of suspected meth and two digital scales inside a black bag on the floor of the passenger seat. So he might have been unaware that it was even there. Which is possible, yes. Very possible. That he did not know that bag might have been left in his car by somebody else. But, the ATF. <laughs> oh, you gotta love them ATF boys, don't you? We've learned a lot about ATF over the last few months, especially with the Mongols' motion for retrial, about how they really operate. How they think they're above the law, can we say? Where they don't think they have to follow procedures. They're above it. They don't have to do what the Constitutional says. They do what they want. That's what gave you Fast and Furious. That what gave you uh, what uh, all the Waco stuff, which we covered in our Redux on Saturday last week. About we had Richard Luther on from the, the Cossacks that were there. He passed away and let us know what was happening the day that day. It was like a turkey shootout. Turkey shootout. And it's just amazing. What if he was just visiting a friend's house? He didn't know what was going on there. But it would have been hard to make his case because the feds were involved. And let's just face it. A lot of people do not have the money. They do not have the money to put up a defense. Which in this country is pretty messed up. Because justice is supposed to be equal no matter what somebody does. You're supposed to get a fair shake. How are you going to get a fair shake when the ones prosecuting you has an unlimited amount of money at their disposal knowing that you can't do nothing about it? Maybe get an attorney thrown at you from the public defender's office or get you a lawyer that you have half afford that's any good? Because going up against the government, you need attorneys that are like O.J. Simpson now here. Alan Dershowitz, uh, you know, Johnny Cochran, where does that glove fit if it don't acquit? That guy. So you need money in this country just to get a fair shake. And... I really never liked it with bail reform on its face value because I think they go too far. But at the same time, you have to sit there and say to yourself, yeah, a lot of people ain't getting a fair shake. A lot of people can't prove they're innocent because they're already handicapped out the door. That's just some of the stuff I think about when I see this story. So many holes can be put punch through it the narrative that the papers give off of the district attorney's press release they didn't even hide it they took the title right from it let me know what you guys and gals think really let me know what you think because i think equal justice under the law shouldn't mean something but i think it's just a fantasy now in this country. And that's a sad deal, man. Sad deal. China Dow is coming up right now. We'll be right back.